Monday, August 27th, 9 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at a strange light that was observed from Queensland, Australia, near the Brisbane area. A gentleman sent me a video of something he noticed in the sky uh, less than 48 hours ago from this area right here near Brisbane, looking out towards the ocean. He noticed something in between the clouds under the moon. And it is interesting. I've looked at the area. I've ruled out any lighthouses or anything like that that could have possibly done this. He's lived in this area for most of his life, if not all of his life. So looking at the daytime, nighttime skies isn't necessarily anything new. But what he saw was new to him. And I'm going to share with you the email that he sent to me yesterday. It's titled Strange Flashes in Cloud after storm Queensland Australia hey my name is Jamie we've spoken quite a few times recently in relation to strange sky activity over southeast Queensland and that's true he sent me some other things as well that that I have to admit were quite interesting um, and I have to say the strange skies over Australia just keep getting weirder as the months go on over this past weekend we had a thunderstorm and rain for quite a few hours during the night um, on Sunday night, in a small lull between active storms, I was coming home from getting dinner and noticed strange flashes in a small cloud just below the moon, which was partially obscured by the rest of the uh, surrounding storm clouds. Once I parked in the driveway, I managed to get my phone out and get two of the flashes on film. I put them together in a short video and also kind of boosted the exposure. He was trying to pull the, the light forward. It was very visible to him, and it did show up in the video on the camera as well, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. And I also put it through many different filters, and you can see this thing. It's very obvious. The cloud's location would have had to have been over water, somewhere in the Morton Bay region around the Morton Island area. From my estimate, at a distance from my location. So I would really appreciate your opinion. And if you have any idea what I may have recorded, he goes, I would like to know. And, and here's the original video recording that he sent me. It's a little bit grainy, but what I do is put it through multiple different filters of my own. And you can see there's definitely something visible underneath the moon in an opening in the clouds. Here we go, right there. See it? That's the original that he sent me. And there it goes again. Okay. And that's under the moon. There's the moon and there's the opening in the clouds. There it went again. That's the same one that he saw. We're just replaying it over and over again, trying to. There it went again. That was a good look at it there. Now these next views are not this one. There it went again. This is a filter of my own. You see that right there? Totally obvious. And like I said earlier, there's no lighthouses in the area. And even if there were lighthouses, that's something that he would have probably seen all, you know, many, many times in the past. Wouldn't have been a surprise like this. So there it goes again. Let me try to slow it down. See that? Almost looks like some sort of an orb. Definitely not an airplane. Moving too fast. It's too big. Got some different filters that I run it through here. There it goes again. Almost looks like a... There it goes again. There was a good look at it right there. Almost looks like a mini moon that went through there. Look at that. So I can definitely see why that piqued his curiosity. That's very interesting. And its location out over the ocean, under the moon. Watch this one here. This is a pretty good look also. There you go. See that light? No denying it. There was definitely something there. That was a real good look at it right there. That's just a different filter. I'm not exactly sure which one it is. That might be the negative format. There it goes again. There was an another good look at it there. And this was in between thunderstorms. So I'm considering, you know, is that some sort of a plasma surge, some sort of ball lightning? There it goes again. And again, this is the same original footage. We're just running it through different filters. Good look at it right there. See how quick it went? That was at original speed. 
So I don't know. Very, very, it's very interesting. Just one look at it right there. So I don't know what he recorded. Piqued his curiosity enough to where he took a video of it and sent it to me to look at, to share with you guys, to see what you thought. Um, I don't know. But there was a thunderstorm, and that was, he uh, filmed that on the 26th. And during that time frame, um, we also had a geomagnetic storm on Earth that was kind of a surprise. And you can see here the K index for nearly 24 straight hours was up in the 5, 6, even at times the K7 range, which is a strong geomagnetic storm. And that was quite a surprise considering there were no solar flares or uh, big earth-facing coronal holes or anything like that. Let me show you what happened if it'll come up. Solar wind speed. If you go to the website, all that data, by the way, is uh, real time. All of this data is real time data. Weather maps, seismographs, lightning, geoelectric, ionosphere, solar wind, the K index, solar flares, um, Yellowstone seismos. It's a good little hub for information. But I want to show you why the um, storm occurred, the geomagnetic storm. See this top? graph right here the black and red line that's the polarity of the magnetic field polarity north and south when they're close together that means the magnetic shields are closed so you could have you know a high speed stream of solar wind interacting with the shields but when they're closed like that you will not see what they call northern lights or aurora borealis because the shields are blocking it when this red line tips south, and this black line stays north like it always is, but when this tips south below the dotted line, that means the shields are open. And that's simply what happened. And if you look, it's consistent right around the 26th, all of the 26th, going close to the 27th. So for almost 24 hours, the shield tilted south, allowing the geomagnetic storm. That's why it happened. And then once it came back up, the door closed, the storm subsided. And it is subsiding as I do this video. So that's why there was a geomagnetic storm over the weekend. I'm not saying it has anything to do with what Jamie saw here. I don't know exactly what he saw here. It is interesting and, you know, considering it's kind of below the moon, at least from his perspective, out over the ocean, it's a good look at it right there. And just a little opening of a uh, cluster of clouds, almost looks like a mini moon went flying through there. And it was moving at a pretty good rate of speed. Definitely not an airplane, uh, not a lighthouse, didn't even see any lighthouses in the area. So I don't know what he saw there. Uh, super interesting. Thanks for sharing, Jamie really appreciate it once again is from the Brisbane area uh, Queensland looking to the east slightly northeast just uh, within the past 24 to 36 hours he noticed that guys if you haven't checked out the website by all means do it's always linked below in the description box of every video I put up the daily report is the newsroom news articles updated daily sometimes multiple times a day interesting stuff and occasionally a scientific white paper will come through the newsroom of a new discovery, usually from space, that uh, is a breaking story that sometimes is here first before it gets to the mainstream. Everything else in through here, real-time lightning, real-time seismographs, interactive weather map. You can put in your location and see the weather conditions, the sky phenomenon photo gallery. I've added several new photos to the photo gallery, so it, uh, it's got some new material. Make sure you check that out. The Schumann Resonance also showed some spikes during the geomagnetic storm. Several, and they're right in line with the geomagnetic storm. See there? So sometimes that does influence the Schumann resonance, but not always. Sometimes we'll see big spikes on here and you won't see anything on here. This time we did though. And you're still seeing a little bit of activity in the Schumann today. This is just about three or four hours old. Nothing super dramatic. Before we went into the unique planetary arrangement, we were seeing really big spikes on here that would last for several hours at a time. Have not seen any of those in a while. But that right there, guys, is exactly why 
there was a geomagnetic storm over the weekend. The interplanetary magnetic field tilted south. When that red line goes below the dotted line, 9 out of 10 times, well, usually 10 out of 10 times, you will see northern lights. Don't forget to check out the website uh, link below, guys. It's a good little hub for information. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.